Checklist Part 1 Arteriovenous Fistula or Arteriovenous Graft Needling Purpose is to demonstrate safe and skilled use of dialysis equipment, to demonstrate safe and skilled cannulating technique, to prepare and administer prescribed dialysis session, to minimize infection rate among dialysis patients. Equipments are as follows. First, perform hand rubbing or hand washing as per policy and procedure. Check the pre-dialysis instructions. Ensure that the machine is set up as per dialysis prescription following pre-dialysis assessment. Ensure privacy if applicable. Explain the procedure to the patient and give tips of instruction. Assess fistula and identify sites of cannulation. Assessment of fistula is carried out when patient is in a comfortable position. Identify if any sign and symptoms of infection are present and must be reported. Hand rub as per policy and procedure. Clean the table in one direction. Open the on off and pack and create a sterile fill. Place all necessary accessories in the fill. Pour the disinfectant solution on the plastic bowl. Open fistula needles with required size according to patient AV fistula maturation and access time. Keep 10 ml syringe with heparin. Open sterile gloves. Put 1 ml syringe for local anesthesia if required. Perform hand hygiene or hand washing. Dry hands using the towel available in the on-off pack. Don sterile gloves and place a sterile towel under the piece to the arm. Disinfect the AV pistola using palm forcep. Use circular movement from inside to outside utilizing one cotton. Use enough cotton to disinfect the pistola area and extend the cleaning around 10 cm from the site of cannulation. Discard the forceps after cleaning and allow hand to dry. Instruct the patient not to touch the clean fistula. Give local anesthetic if required. If spray, put before cleaning. Wait 3 to 5 minutes. If injection, give after cleaning of the site. Cannulate the arterial needle at least 2 to 3 cm away from the arteriovenous anastomosis. Make sure that you are cannulating a new site. Release the clamp, check the blood flow, and draw samples if required. Secure the needle in position by tape, preferably butterfly or chevron technique.
cannulate the venous needle away from the arterial needle of at least 2 inches. Secure the needle in position with tape. Use butterfly or chevron technique. Check blood flow and administer heparinized saline doting dose if necessary. Clump the needle. Put off the machine to start commencing process. It depends on the machine type. It can be done by pressing the stop rinse button. Disconnect both arterial and venous lines from the machine and connect to the patient's needle. Release both arterial and venous clumps and gradually increase the blood pump initially to 100 ml per minute to slowly increase it to 150 ml per minute and as prescribed. Activate the KT over V. If gloves are contaminated with visible blood, discard them and wash your hands and then cover the on-off and pack. Place the on-off pack on top of the machine for post-dialysis use. Remove waste and dispose as per the disposal of waste management policy and procedure. Staff nurse should maintain hand washing as per hand hygiene policy. Documentation is maintained as per the policy that includes dialysis session hours, patient assessment, dry weight and excess weight, access assessment that includes thrill and brewing, and blood flow obtained. Patient's general condition at starting time should be documented.